Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this design right here. It's actually pretty fast and easy. There's a lot of layering involved to get the outlines and I'll show you how you can do that. And then I'll also show you how you can use a frame in the middle to make this incredibly scalable. So I can take this one template and create literally hundreds of designs in minutes. Uh, so if you would like to learn how you can do this, go ahead and stick around. So here I am on Canva's home page. We will be designing for a t-shirt today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the right hand side where it says custom size. And I'm going to select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Um, and then today we are going to be creating a design that's a pretty popular niche right now that I've noticed. Um, and it is a funny one that said, first of all, I'm a delight. And you may have seen this with either like a possum or a raccoon or some sort of an animal that is hissing or growling or, you know, looking like anything but a delight. So um, there's a lot of these that I've seen. We're going to take a little bit of a twist on it. We're going to use a photo as opposed to... Um, one of the graphic ones that I've seen. Um, and so what I'm going to start by doing is just creating a dark background. I do like to design for black. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a kind of almost a poster style to this. And so we're going to use some shapes and some outlines to create a cool design here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to elements and there are some cool shapes here so I can go ahead and look at shapes. I can also search for shapes, but like here, for example, is a nice rounded corner shape that I can use to kind of create my overall kind of size, something like that, that I like. And so this is pretty cool because it's, you know, good and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Flexible. I can, I can do whatever I want with this one and kind of make it look cool. I can also go ahead, let's pick a color, you know, something, I'm going to look for something a little bit different here. Eh, I'm looking something, maybe something a little bit more bluey. Should be darker. Yeah, let's go with that. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and put another shape on top of it. So let's say I want to put a square on top of that. And again, this one just has the sharper edges, whereas in the other one did not. And so I could do something like that, right? And then I could go ahead and put another one of these on top and maybe make, you know, this is where I'm going to put like the photo that I want, for example, because I'm going to use a photo. But if I did it something like this, you can kind of already see the way I can make this work. Now, right now the background is a little dark, so I'm not seeing it. Let's go with a dark gray. Okay, so now you can kind of see the way that I'm doing this and the way that you can kind of layer shapes to create sort of different styles. Um, I also want to do frames. And so one of the things I want to do is use a photo frame. So let's go with frames. If I just hit frame, oops, I'm still in shapes, sorry. Regular search for frame. I can find the frames and the ones that have these little wavy lines. Those are the shape frames. And I can pick one of these. And so that's kind of exactly what I was looking for was that kind of rounded edge shape. But you can look through and try to find all sorts of those different shapes. There's more square ones, more rectangular ones. And so you can kind of come up with whatever looks the best. Okay. And so, so far I got this, I got a frame in here. I wish it was a little bit wider rectangle. Is it going to let me crawl? It will. This one will let me crawl. Oh, perfect. Cool. They don't all let you do that. So I found one frame that'll let me kind of shape it the way I want it so I can get it a little bit wider in terms of a rectangle. And that's perfect because what I want is going to be something a little closer to that. That way I've still got lots of room for some text. Okay, perfect. So that's working really good. In fact, I'm going to go ahead, add another layer here because I think I want an outline to this. So I'm going to go back up to my recently used shapes. I'm going to go with maybe like a nice tan for this one. So 
Oops. I'm going to find a nice tan color that I think looks cool. Something like that ought to do. And I'm just going to put a little thin border around this whole thing. Oops. That wasn't what I meant to do. And if I want to see through something, by the way, I can click on it and go up to this transparency, bring that transparency down. That way I can see through it. And then I can see just how wide I'm making this. I got a little border there. A little border here. That looks perfect. I'm going to get rid of my transparency. You'll see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to go ahead and send this all the way to the back. So I'm just hitting control in my left bracket a bunch of times until it goes all the way to the back. And so now already you can see the way I've layered this. So I've got one big rectangle, another rectangle inside of it, another square inside of it, and then a frame inside of this. So I'm just sort of building some layers here. Um, and these should all be hopefully equal in, in terms of heights here. So this height should be the same as that height. I can tell by taking my black frame and just making sure that it is centered within the design and it is right, right there. So that is the center of the design. And so then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just start by putting some, some text. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard. Oops, it's gonna pull up a text box. And I'm going to start at the top. We're going to do this in all caps. It's going to say, uh, first of all. And first of all is going to go up here. Perfect. Nice. I'm going to pull up one more text box, hit T on my keyboard. And then the bottom one is going to say, I'm a delight. Right? So that's kind of cool there. Now, in terms of the fonts that I'm looking for, I do want something that is going to be nice and narrow so that I can make this pretty big. So when I'm looking at some narrow font, there's lots of cool narrow fonts. I can just go ahead and do a search here for narrow or for bold or for, you know, look either way that way. And so there's lots of cool narrow fonts, but I'm looking for one that's bold. And this is a nice easy one here that I like to use a lot. It's Spernower. I can't say those things, uh, condensed, um, but I'm going to use that for both of these. And I can make that nice and big. So now what I can do is take my text and make it really big here. And so that's kind of cool. And then I can take this one and make it, again, really big here. And that's kind of cool. I want to make sure I've got a little space on either side. Cool, cool. Do you like the way that that looks? Not too bad there. I can play with some of these colors here too. So um, let's say I want to do this in like a nice tan color, make it that same tan color for both of these, but then go ahead and maybe put a black outline around it. So I'm sort of tying all of these colors together. So here's my black outline there. Same thing here, nice black outline there. And so you can see that the way that this is looking so far, so cool. Um, I can even, now that I've got this, make the background a black so that you can see that black background there, right? So first of all, I'm a delight. So now I've got this awesome frame and all I got to do is start dropping pictures in. And so this, I can make lots of copies and drop pictures in. So let's go ahead and look for some unhappy animals. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and search for angry cat. So angry cat, everybody likes the angry cats and there's usually some great photos. So here I am looking for photos that I can drop in the frame and look at all of these awesome angry cat photos. Any one of these, you'll see when I drop it in there, kind of fits the bill. First of all, I'm a delight. Right, so that right there, boom, that's pretty cool. I like it. I can always go ahead, double click on it, and then I can change where the photo sits in the frame. So if I wanna really kind of center that angry cat's face, make it nice and big, there I have my, first of all, I'm a delight. First of all, I'm a delight. That looks pretty cool. And so you could see how I could then go ahead and just take this, hit duplicate, 
Now I got another one. Now I can look for another angry cat photo. That cat also looks pretty angry. That one looks just pissed off evil. So I take my pissed off evil cat, stick him right in the middle, and boom. That one looks pretty cool too. And of course you could do this with a thousand different photos of a thousand different animals and just keep this overall thing. And so this is one design that you could scale out a bazillion times. And of course I could always change the color coding on here too. I could do all sorts of colors if I wanted to layer it more so that maybe I had a black outline between the, the tan and the green. I could do that as well. There'd be nothing stopping me from taking this, this green one hitting control D, going ahead and making a black version, and then going ahead and just bringing it up just a little bit and out to the side just a little bit, All right? And then what we're gonna do is center it. So once I have it centered, centered, something like that, then all I do is hit control my left bracket and start sending it to the back and boom now i have sort of an outline around that that looks pretty cool and i could have done that by the way in a different color too so it didn't have to be black either so let's say i wanted to add maybe a third color in here maybe a reddish maybe like a deep dark red that's also gonna kind of go with that boom and so that looks pretty cool here and by the way, once you get this all the way you want it, you can resize it and move it in the page. I actually like where it's sitting in the page. It's looking pretty centered and it's up nice and high on the page. So that looks pretty cool. Um, and again, like I said, I could play with all of the colors. Right now I did that sort of black here, but there'd be nothing stopping me from making that a third color as well. Let's say maybe I wanted to take this and bring it into more of a blue tone, maybe a deep dark blue something there so that it's not black it doesn't necessarily have to be black it can be whatever color I want I do like the black though because it fits in with the letters but then again I could change the outline of the letters to be that sort of deep dark blue so again I could go to effects and change this to that deep dark blue and change this one here to that deep dark blue and so now they still all go together and like i said right now i've just got it on a shirt but the cool thing about this is it could go on pretty much any color shirt you want so this is it on black but it would also look fine on a white shirt right it's also going to look good on pretty much any color that might look good with these if you wanted to do a light gray heather gray shirt if you want to do the dark heather gray shirt so it would work with all of those and depending on what colors you know you pick it's still going to pop pretty well even on the white and you kind of lose that tan outline we still have that nice red outline so you can see how you can make this pop pretty much on anything and you can pick whatever kind of color palette that you like so i do like the black here though but you can do sort of whatever whatever color palette you like and so we can see all the way up to the first one i like the extra outline that i put there i think that extra outline looks kind of cool not super fan of the blue there i do like the black a little bit better but anyways you get the idea so let's say i'm gonna go with this one right here sure cat's not as sharp as I want I can still go to edit image and adjust I can come down here to sharpness maybe up that sharpness a bit there we go so that looks cool now I like it first of all I'm a delight there we go so that looks pretty cool and it is ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and just put delight I'm gonna call it cat because that's the animal I'm using and I'm gonna download a transparent background. Here we go, I'm gonna do a PNG and we're gonna hit download. And now that was fast, easy, super scalable and ready to go on just about any product that you want and different colors. And because I went with shapes, um, that could be adjusted in size in terms of dimensions. There would be nothing stopping me from making this more vertical, more horizontal, any kind of configuration I want. So something like this might also look good on a poster or on like a metal uh, print, um, on 
you know, just about anything that you can think of, you can go ahead and kind of change these dimensions and make them fit and scale it out. So I hope this gave you a lot of really good creative ideas of things that you can do and ways that you can kind of make this work. Um, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really good with all of your designing and all of your sales. And I do hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.